Let's begin the introduction. Assalamualaikum. My name is Siti Nurati Rabinti Motta. My matrix number is B0820101014. I am from BEEA S1 Section 1. I will be explaining to you the temperature control in air conditioner for our project. In this project, we will discuss the air conditioner's control system. Every air conditioner has an adjustable temperature controller for the air conditioning system. The air conditioning system will operate according to the needs of the user. It will operate according to the temperature set by the user despite disturbance from the external environmental temperature. Here's some explanation. An air conditioner is a closed-loop system. It has a quality measurement instrument such as a temperature sensor to determine that the discharge air reach its desired temperature. It produces a signal proportional to temperature sensor and creates an error signal. The discharge air temperature is affected by disturbance in the air conditioner caused by temperature fluctuations in the surrounding environment. Through the feedback loop, the disturbance are also sent to the comparator. The input in the system is impacted by the output and the disturbance through the feedback path. The air conditioning system will operate according to the controller compares the temperature of the air leaving the coil to the intended set point and adjusts the valve to reach the required temperature in a closed loop system. Several sensors such as thermostats and humidistats are used in the closed loop control system. On this system, the temperature and the humidity are re regulate variables. The temperature control devices maintain the proper temperature inside the room as per our comfort requirements. An explanation where the control is being used. The air conditioning system are fitted with three controls which are temperature controls, humidistats and air stats that control the temperature relative humidity and flow of air inside the room respectively. The control system must keep the control variables in the occupied zone within a certain range. Central air conditioning system are powered by domestic line voltage 208 2 to 40 volts. I will be explaining to you the block diagram. First, the input source is the desired discharge air temperature. Then it transfers to an adjustable temperature controller which controls the cooling time. Then it transfers to a part called a suspension valve. Then it transfers to a system which is a evaporator coil, also called cooling coil, is the part of the system where the refrigerant absorbs heat. And there is a feedback which is a transfer to the discharge air temperature sensor, also called thermostat, to test whether the discharge air reached the temperature it desired. This process will be repeated, repeated all over again to maintain the desired temperature until the air conditioner uh, is switched off. The output will be the discharge air temperature. That is all. The blood diagram that we got before has converted to signal flow part so we can understand it better. Then, we have to model the system transfer function. The transfer function that we get is G1S times G2S times G3S per 1 minus G1S times G2S times G3S times H1S. The assumption of the equation for the system transfer function is y, ys per rs equals 50 per s, s uh, square root plus 5s plus 50. Good afternoon, my name is Mary Magdalene, daughter of Jason Das, and I'm from class BEEAS11. And my metric number is B0820103379. 
now i am going to present about theoretical calculation for our air conditioning system we add assume a transfer function which is 50 over s square plus 5 s plus 50 from this transfer function we need to calculate omega n and zeta in order to calculate peak time rise time settling time and also percentage overshoot the value that we got from the calculation for omega n is 7.071 and for zeta which is also known as damping ratio the value that we got from the calculation is 0 0.3536 for peak time we got 0 0.4750 second for rise time we got 0 0.1929 second for settling time we got 1.5998 second and for percentage overshoot we got 30 percentage this is the circuit that we had built for our air conditioning system from this circuit we had got this graph now let's look into the value that we obtained from this graph this is the final value which is 0 0.5 and this is the peak time which is 0 0.33 in order to find rise time we need to calculate t90 minus t10 so to find t90 we need to find v90 first and same goes to t10 in order to find t10 we need to find v10 first so for to find v90 we need to times 0 0.9 with the final value and also for v10 we need to times 0 0.1 with final value so we got v90 equals to 0 0.45 and also v10 equals to 0 0.05 from this graph the value of T10 equals to 0 0.047 and the value of T90 is 0 0.173. When we minus the 0 0.047 with 0 0.173, the value of TR is equals to 0 0.126 second. As for settling time, we need to find lower value and also upper value. For upper value, we had got that 0 0.51 and for lower value, we had got 0 0.49. From these values, we had got the settling time which is 1.605. As for overshoot percentage, the formula is peak value minus final value over final value times 100 percentage. So, the peak value is 0 0.721 and final value is 0 0.5. When we calculate this, we got 44 percentage. This is the comparison from the value of graph and value from calculation. There is a slight difference from both the values. Next, state space representation. In order to find state space representation, we need to change this transfer function into d dt form. So, d square c over dt plus 5 dc over dt plus 50 c equals to 50 r. And from this, we can get 1 C 2 dots plus 5 C 1 dot plus 50 C equals to 50 R. Then define U equals to R and define X equals to X1, X2, X3 equals to C, C 1 dot, C 2 dots. Differentiate the state variable. X1 dot 1 equals to C dot equals to X2. X1 dot 2 equals to C dot 2 equals to 50u minus x3 minus 5x2 minus 50x. So from this we got state equation in metric form. After we find the state equation in metric form, we will obtain an output equation which is ys equals to cs equals to x1. And this, this is the state space representation which is y equals to c equals to 1, 0, 0, x1, x2, x3. Stability of system. In order to calculate the stability of system, we need to build root Hurwitz table. Since there were no sign changes in the first column during the calculation, it is proven that the system was stable because according to the root Hurwitz, the number of polynomial roots in the right half plane equals the number of sign changes in the first column. Next, steady state error. 
we need to find step input and ramp input. As for step input, we get 1 over 2 and for ramp input, we get infinity. That's all from me. Thank you. In this discussion from the block diagram, we know that the air conditioner is a closed loop system. The closed loop system uses feedback where a portion of the output signal is fed back to the input to reduce errors and improve stability. The air conditioner is collecting air from the beginning until the discharge air reaches the desired temperature. If the feedback has given the error from the graph, we know that it is an under them second order system whereby we can get the value of peak time, settling time, and percent overshoot. So, the calculation is needed to get the value of peak time, settling time, and percent overshoot for comparing the theory and actual value. From steady state error, the error step input is 0.5, but the RAM input and the parabolic input are infinity. This is because the error system depends on two factors, which are the types of system and input. In conclusion, we have determined at the end of the study that the air conditioning system is a closed loop system and an under them second order system. Based on the block diagram, we conclude that the system outcome of the air conditioner was measured by the air temperature whereby the sensor will give feedback when the discharge air reach the desired temperature. So we have to make an assumption of the data 50 per s square plus 5s plus 50 on the CLR block for solving the equation. Through the graph result, we know that there are peak time, settling time and percent overshoot because it is an under them second order system whereby the value of peak time is 0.33, a right time of 0.12, a settling time of 1.605, and a percent overshoot of 44%. In addition, we have learned how to simulate an equation and obtain the output using the MATLAB and SCILAB software. Last but not least, we will want to express our gratitude to Puan Siti Nur Suhaila for her lecture and for imparting her knowledge and information to us as this work developed. That is all. Thank you for listening our presentation.